Here are 10 of my favorite cable exercises to train my back, only using handle attachments so it's interchangeable with resistance bands at home. Like old time. What is going on, aliens? I'm Mike Rosa, founder and CEO of Anabolic Aliens, where we specialize in personalized fitness. We've been helping aliens all over the world for over a decade, and our fitness app, Exoprise, is over 500,000 users today. Let's get into it. Exercise one is the one arm shotgun row. So we're doing this unilaterally, meaning one side at a time. This is one of my favorite ways to do the row with this type of variation. You're going to be having the resistance, the cable is set up at mid level, and then your palm is starting in a neutral grip. So that palm is facing in, and then it's gonna be actually rotating as you do the row. So when it's all the way rowed back, that palm will be facing up. And you get into your powerful stance, chest tall, back tight, and feet in a strong position so you can row optimally. Let's go deep stretch, coming all the way out, row all the way in, keeping the elbow tight to the body. A hard, hard flex, deep stretch. <sighs> And you want to make sure you're always matching that volume and the weight on each side. Build proportionally. <sighs> Exercise two is the dual overhand row. So we're using both sides now at the same time. And we're going to have palms down grip the entire time of the row. Grab both handles now. Get set up. You want to make sure that that chest stays tall and that back is staying tight. Pinch down to get that back tight. We're really targeting that upper back here. A lot of focus on the rhomboids, mid traps. Palms staying down, drive back with the elbows. Hold it for a second, squeeze hard, all the way back out. Full stretch coming back out. Keep the elbows up, squeeze hard, all the way out, getting that deep stretch. Hard flex, all the way back. Deep stretch, great row variation. Exercise three is the close row. So we're actually gonna be setting both handles up now on the same side. If you're using the cables, bring that handle attachment over both on one side. If you're at home with bands, well, you're already set up. Now you're gonna set up at that mid level again. We're having those handles close together for a reason. This is that close row. We're really trying to target that middle inner back here. Let's hold those handles. You can even have them together, push together like that. Whatever's most comfortable. I actually like to have a little distance in between, not this much, just about right here. Kind of like the seated low row you do at the gym. And get into a strong position. Now row all the way in, elbows stay tight, all the way into the body, all the way out. Hard flex, deep stretch. Hard flex, deep stretch. And you notice when I'm coming all the way out for my stretch, I'm not losing my tightness. I'm staying tight, deep stretch all the way out while still tight and engaged, and then driving all the way back, optimal activation for that flex. Exercise four is the kneeling high side row. So you're gonna be setting the resistance all the way to the top. You're gonna be getting down on one knee. Make sure you're positioned far enough away so you can get a deep stretch all the way coming up. That cable needs to be to the side of you. So your chest is facing forward, the cable is to the side. When you drive down, your elbow is driving downward and slightly behind your body. The palm is staying facing you. Let's begin, drive all the way down. A hard, hard flex. Remember that elbow is driving down, it's slightly behind your body. All the way up, deep stretch, all the way down. Ah, hard flex. And then unilateral, which means one side at a time. We're going to that other side. And same concept, come all the way down. Slightly behind the body, hard flex, all the way up, deep stretch, all the way up there, and then all the way down, hard, hard flex. This is a great way to hit that side, outer, lower part of the lat. Ooh, that one burns. Exercise five is the dual alternating hold neutral high row. We're keeping that resistance coming from that high level. Neutral grip now, so the palms are gonna be facing inward and we're doing both sides at the same time. I like to position my body, leaning a little bit forward so that row is coming downward. And again, you're in that neutral grip. Position your body now, get into a strong position to row. And let's come down with that row. Drive in, elbow staying tight, hard flex down. Now we're holding this position and then now we begin the alternating row part. So from here, you're constantly engaged the whole time, squeeze hard. Now let's do the alternating row. 
holding one the whole time. That other arm doesn't start to come out until the other arm is rowed all the way back in and squeeze. <clears throat> Getting that stretch and flex component at the same time. <sighs> this is a great one. Give it a try. Exercise six is the dual straight arm pull down. So both sides at the same time, palms are gonna be down for this variation and you're gonna be doing a straight arm pull down, which means the arms, they're not bending, you're not rowing, you're pulling down. If you do have a bend of the arm, it can be a slight bend, but a consistent bend. I don't want you to bend as you move throughout the motion. I want you to keep it consistent. So if you're fully locked out or if you're slightly bent like this, keep it that way the whole pull down. Let's grab both handles now. I like to do just a slight bend. Come all the way back. Make sure you get a position where you're able to get that full stretch at the top. It's really important there. Again, I have my body with that slight lean forward. And let's begin now. Pull down, squeeze hard all the way to your side, all the way back up. Get that full stretch and let's go. This one kills those lats. And I do like to hold this one for a second by my sides. Get that extra flex. But for this exercise, I really, really extra like the stretch portion coming all the way up, all the way down. That stretch feels great. Let's go. Exercise seven is the side straight arm pull down. So now we're doing the straight arm pull down with the variation set up to the side of us. And we're doing it unilaterally, meaning one side at a time. And you're gonna be setting it on up now, making sure that cable is positioned to your side because your chest needs to be positioned forward. And when you're coming down, it's just like we did for that kneeling side high row variation where the arm is gonna be coming slightly behind the body. You get a ton more activation there, really hitting that side and also lower part of the lat. We still get that deep stretch component coming up as well. Let's get positioned. And when you're coming down, still keeping that arm straight and that consistency all the way down. Slightly behind, hard, hard squeeze, hard flex, all the way back up. Make sure you can get that full stretch coming up and then all the way back down. Ah, hard, hard flex. This is a great way to unilaterally train that lat. Ah, work that width of the back. And then the unilateral, which means we're doing the same thing on that other side, build proportionally. Coming down slightly behind the body. Ugh, hard flex. And again, I love this stretch portion of a straight arm pull down. <sighs> really getting that deep stretch, control that motion. The tempo speed that you come down, you should be doing the same thing coming back up. <clears throat> Let's get it. Exercise eight is the one arm palm back wide back. Now we're setting that resistance from the top all the way to the bottom now, and we're keeping our palm back the whole time. And to get into this bent position, I want you to use that other arm to stabilize yourself. Take away strain from that lower back. We're not trying to train our core. We're trying to focus on that unilateral lat focus coming back. So use that other arm to stabilize the bend and keep that spine as neutral as possible. Safe, strong positioning. Grab that handle. And also make sure we're not so close to the attachment so you're clamping it when you're coming in, you wanna have a stretch too. Step back, be able to make sure you have that stretch component. And now I want you to think about when you are driving back with the arm, straight arm in to out. Keep like a diagonal plane in to out. And that hand will try to rotate inward on you. Keep it back. Let's get it aliens, coming back. This is a tough one. Really feel that engagement, stretch forward. Hard flex back. Stretch forward, hard flex back. And this is unilateral, which means switch up that side, match it up with that volume and weight, and let's get it. We're always building proportionally. This one kills. Exercise nine is the close upright row, bringing both those handle attachments over to that one side again. We're on that low setup. We're hitting now the upper traps. Get set up, close grip. Now make sure those elbows are staying above the wrist. I'm a big fan of upright rows, but that is an essential part of this movement. Keep the elbows above the wrist. And we're targeting the upper traps here. Feel that shrug part at the top. 
Let's begin now. Get close enough so those elbows are coming up and in a direct plane. Let's go. Come up, squeeze at the top, back down, all the way down. Elbows up, elbows leading the motion above the wrist. Squeeze those traps all the way down. This is one of my favorite ways to hit the traps. I prefer doing these over shrugs. All the way up, elbows lead, hard squeeze, back down. If you've never done these before, I guarantee you they're gonna burn tomorrow. Exercise 10, let's finish strong with one of my favorites, the dual underhand upward row. We're really gonna be targeting those fine-tuned small upper back muscles, really getting deep in those mid traps. Ooh, this is gonna be intense and I love it. We're grabbing both handles, palms are up, they're forward the whole time. Step it on back so you can get that deep stretch. And you also want to lean slightly forward, but make sure that chest is also up tall, but lean slightly forward. And you're staying engaged this way because remember, we are rowing backward and upward at the same time. Let's get into it. Coming back, elbows also rowing up. A hard, hard squeeze all the way back out. <sighs> this is a killer. Really hitting small, fine tune upper back, middle back muscles. <sighs> Definitely try this one out as a burner. That wraps it on up for our 10 exercises. These are my favorite exercises to do with the cable system to target the back. And we're doing handle attachments only, which means it's interchangeable for resistance bands at home. Give these a try. Make sure to leave a comment what your favorite exercise was. If I didn't include one, let us know in that comment section because we can all learn and grow together. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me and click that notification bell. Ready to subscribe so you never miss a new video upload from me. I got a lot more content coming. We're gonna crush this new year together. Let's get after it. Keep getting to the next level. And if you need any more personalized help, if you need help training your back, if you need help figuring out a workout plan that actually gets you results, make sure to check out my 90 day coaching program experience. We'll be on a transformative journey together. Check it out. I'm thrilled to offer a one of a kind coaching program experience for those who are ready to join the gains invasion of the anabolic aliens. This program is all about you, providing 90 days of fully customized workout and diet plans, as well as daily accountability support and weekly live coaching sessions, getting direct access to me to guarantee you achieve results that are absolutely out of this world. Just look at these success stories. I lost around three and a half percent body fat. I feel good mentally, physically. It's been a huge, huge game changer, man. I lost 20 pounds. I got a lot stronger too. I enjoyed the hell out of every day. I can't wait to start over. You get access to our premium app, Xsurprise. Plus, we're including more bonuses worth over $300. And even more importantly, we offer flexible payment plans and a 100% money back guarantee. Don't delay your transformation another day. Click the link below and book your call now. Ah uh, yeah, aliens. And now let's do a quick recap of the 10 exercises that we did today. Exercise one is the one arm shotgun row. Exercise two is the dual overhand row. Exercise three is the close row. Exercise four is the kneeling high side row. Exercise five is the dual alternating hold neutral high row. Exercise six is the dual straight arm pull down. Exercise seven is the side straight arm pull down. Exercise eight is the one arm palm back Y back. Exercise nine is the close grip upright row. Exercise 10 is the dual underhand upward row. Again, aliens, leave a comment what your favorite was or if I left any out. I will see you in that next video now. Go get them back gains out of this world. Peace. Because together we got power.